Great to see you. Okay. Look, congratulations. As the boys said, look, a semi-finalist now with Real Madrid. And I just noticed there, look, an exhalation of breath, perhaps yeah. a bit of relief. What are the feelings? Yeah, I think it's it's relief. Um, it's definitely because you put so much into the game. And, you know, I've played against City before when you've been close and you feel like you're going to get something out of it. And then all of a sudden they kind of snatch it away from you. So you have to work really hard to beat them. And, you know, I was pretty much dead on my feet at the end. And <laughs> to, to win the game is a massive reward. There were big moments, especially in the second half, where they had the pressure on you so much. How difficult were those moments to make sure you defended resolutely and you kept the focus? It's so difficult because, you know, they're, they're continuously probing with the ball. Uh, they move you around and, you know, they take you into positions that sometimes you don't want to go, you know, but you have to follow man for man. Otherwise, they can, they can punish you. And they did for the goal. And to be fair, I think mo most teams at that point would... would fall apart um, when City kind of get on top of here the crowd gets going but we stood up really well and um, for another half an hour 40 minutes we we, we, we worked hard it's, it's a great result for you guys you've gone through you um is, is this move for you Real Madrid playing here and what it means to players is it lived up and gone beyond any expectations that you imagine I could never dream of it how it, how it started but you know not just because of the performances the goals and all that kind of thing but just the feeling you get playing for the club um, you guys obviously play for huge clubs but it's just that feeling every day, you know, you get to put the badge on your chest and you feel like you're so grateful to be there, you know, and yeah, long may it continue, hopefully more nights like these. Mm. Anticipating tonight's game, you obviously thought that City would be strong with Kevin and, and Kyle coming back, so did you have to tweak the game plan, the tactics from the first yeah, leg? I think, I think it, was, it was pretty similar. Um, a couple of us were doing roles that we weren't normally used to, like me, I was having to go a bit higher to press, and which meant you know, sometimes when the ball turned over and I wanted to get on it, it was hard to because I was so high. Um, but it, it's the different adjustments and it's the sacrifices of your own game that you have to make. The lads done it brilliantly. Whoever came on from the bench kind of covered for that and we got the job done. Uh, how important is, uh, is Carlo? He was obviously managing England, managing, it, managing everywhere yeah. and been hugely successful. Yeah. What, what, give us some little behind the scenes nuggets that he gives you guys to go out there and to be able to perform the way you do, under stress sometimes, but also when you can go and blow teams away. I think our biggest strength is that he, he finds a way to let a lot of the boys play with freedom. Mm. I think, you know, some teams are a bit more structured in terms of the passing styles and the patterns of play, and it's really interesting to watch, and it's diff definitely difficult to play against. But I think one of our kind of biggest strengths is that we're so kind of off the cuff, mm. if that makes sense. And, you know, as a man as well, he just fills you with, with calmness and confidence. Mm. Before the game there, I caught him yawning. <laughs> and I said to him, boss, are you tired? And he went, yeah, you need to go and excite me out there. So um, <laughs> that's the kind of confidence and calmness he brings. You, you mentioned the badge. Is, 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 there, is, there, is it heavy? Like, is, it, is it the response? Do you feel the pressure from the years gone by? Figo's given out awards before here, an ex-player. You've got Seedorf and you've got Fabio Carnavaro there. Do you, do you notice all that and feel that pressure? I think you've got to see it as responsibility more than pressure. You know, if you want to, if you want to come to a club like Real Madrid, if you want to kind of take that step, then I think you have to be willing to, to be criticised, to be under that scrutiny, be under that spotlight. And... You know, I think that the club do a great job, and if they don't think that you're ready, then they ease you in and they do things like that with you. But, you know, if, if you're here, then it probably means you can handle it. So you've kind of got to trust the process. How's he answering these questions so eloquently at this age, man? <laughs> how old are you, bro? How old? Tell me how old you are, man. Uh, no. still, still 20, bro. Uh, what about the fact that you knock out the holders and you do it on penalties and you do it here at the Etihad as well? It's yeah. quite a way yeah. to do it. It's, it's incredible, really. I think, you know, today... And a lot of the games we play this season, you know, you can look at moments where it's like moments of brilliance, moments of magic. And then today, I think it just comes down to mentality, really. You know, it's, it's a matter of running, not to track, to track. So I think when you get those details right and then you have those little moments like the penalties where the lads can kind of keep their cool, then it, it, it's a great mix going forward and you've got a great team for that. Does it feel particularly, sorry, does it feel particularly um, a proud moment for you to be able to go through to the semi against this Real Madrid team. What did you make of the game? Yeah, we did everything more than well, so in all departments. So we were outstanding the way we played and unfortunately we couldn't win and congratulations Madrid. Does it make it tougher to take that you went out on penalties after dominating the game the, the way you did? It is what it is. So we should have scored before. Unfortunately we couldn't do it. The defense did the transitions, but we controlled them. So with the momentum and on both and on both are good and that we control the department as well so we create everything but unfortunately we couldn't win were you beaten by the better defensive team tonight no we were better defensive because we could see less chances than them so we defend better than them that's for sure so is it just about 
not putting away the chances that you had in front of goal? Why, why couldn't you do that? When they come to try and create as much chances as possible, they can see less the chances. And not to footballers like that. So, so we we prove and uh, what we have done in in many years is to do better than the opponent, creating more chances to concede field. This is what happened today. Unfortunately, we could not like a previous games here. We create a lot, a lot, and unfortunately, we could not win in the penalty this spot. Carlo, massive congratulations! What a way to win the game here at the Etihad. A big, difficult game. We knew that we were going to suffer. We suffered. Uh, it was, uh, of course, a really difficult game. But to win here. Uh, you have to behave like this. We, uh, we had a great attitude. We defended well. Of course, they had more control of the game. We started well the game. Uh, after that, uh, they start to play and we had more difficulties. But we were able to to keep going, to stay uh, really concentrated at the back. And uh, at the end, I think we won. Hello, oh, good evening. Welcome along, as Micah would say. <laughs> What's that thing you do when you welcome everyone in? None of that. <laughs> How about that way? <laughs> Not tonight, Kate. Okay, welcome along, everybody. Good to have you with us. Kate Avdo, Thierry Henry, Jamie Carragher, Micah Richards. Uh, Champion Lings, excuse me, Champions League finals uh, are now clear. Should we take a look at the update? Racket now that the um, quarterfinals both legs have been played. So here is what we have got Dortmund against PSG on the one side of the bracket, Bayern versus Real Madrid on the other side of the bracket. It could be either an all German final. Oh, it's going to be an Mbappe be. final, yeah. isn't Mbappe it? Is hey. That all German final was at Wembley. In Dortmund, Bayern Munich, yes. 2013. Mm -hmm. There it was. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. That Thanks. Good job, I saved you there. Saved me from what? Buster, that is. You didn't know, did you? Didn't know what? That, that, was, that final was played before at Wembley. Nobody and asked was... me the question. No, but you were the host. You were talking about an all German final. A nice little bit of information yeah, just, for the viewers. I was, <laughs> I was about to continue my sentence, but then you rudely interrupted me, so I didn't get Ooh. the chance to do that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Uh, Thierry, how do you feel? Good. You do? Yeah. It's a bit of a sombre night for Premier League football, would you say? <laughs> Arsenal out, Manchester City out. Yeah, but you know it's about winning it when you have Real Madrid on your way. Uh, obviously, Man City managed to do it uh, last year, the year before, on the way. Real Madrid beat every single team from the Premier League, so it, it, it is what it is. You know, I think for me, it's not so much of a Premier League thing or not. So as you can see, you have two German teams there, uh, a French team, and, and obviously a Spanish team. But um, yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, on the on on the night, and I know. Uh, Man City had the ball and they were pushing and this and that, but the way they played defensively around Madrid is just astonishing. And I know, yes, they had watch on a target that was the goal, but City don't have a lot, just that crossbar and that was about it. it and the goal, obviously, mm. you know what I mean. It's weird, is it, Jamie? Because I, I guess it's a reminder that in European football or on a stage as big as this, as big as the Champions League, form isn't always what necessarily matters, certainly if you look at the, the Bayern-Arsenal result. No, and I've, I've said this before plenty of times. The team who wins the Champions League is not necessarily the best team in Europe. And I think Real Madrid, a few occasions, we'll see what they do this season. I think in the past, they've won, I think they beat Liverpool in the final we were out a couple of years ago. I, I, they find a way to win. So I think they've played Manchester City now, I don't know if it's three times in three years or three times in four years. They've beaten them twice and City have been the better team. But Real Madrid, there is something special about that club that have a hold on the opposition, a mentality, a belief they are the best team in Europe. And they beat Manchester City here on a penalty shooter when the last shot was on target was in the 12th minute of the game, the goal. A couple of years before, they beat them with two goals in the last minute. That was just to take it to extra time. So they just, there's something about this competition of Real Madrid that puts them on a completely different level to anybody else. Because anybody watching that game and didn't know the names of the teams, you'd say it was an absolute mismatch. And this team here are one of the luckiest teams you've seen to get through. But we know it's Real Madrid and that's what they do. Does it feel more bitter to go out, Micah, when you believe that you were the better side? No, I, I think Jamie summed it up perfectly. I, I think you can't always win it. Man City, of course, were the dominant team, but 
It matters at the end, doesn't it? That is the difference. Um, it went to penalties, it's 50-50. On the night, Real Madrid got the win. Like Thierry said, they defended so well. Um, I think Man City would just be frustrated within themselves to dominate the game like that and not put the chances away. When you've got players like Haaland on the field, who we've talked about so highly, not managing to make a proper impact in the game. Foden at times, isolated on that right, went into the middle, the second half, looked a lot better. Kevin De Bruyne got the goal as well. I thought Carl Walker, as I mentioned before the game, did really well with Vinicius. But that man on his screen there, Bellingham, he didn't stop running all night. He is a, a proper, proper talent. And there's no bitterness from me, you know, at the end of the day. It goes down. What's wrong? <laughs> if he stopped so someone just said, shut up a minute, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did, I did, I did know. Uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, Jude Bellingham, you're talking about him. He scored his penalty. Let's go through some of the key penalties that we saw uh, really make a difference <sighs> in this penalty shootout. Jude Bellingham, confident. Very confident. Thierry mentioned it. Which way he's going to go? He says closed, keepers right. Bernardo Silva miss there. I thought he tried to put anchor it at the start, but it's just it's bravery from the goalkeepers. Jamie. Really interesting if that had been something you know they spoke about beforehand. But the goalkeeper, as we mentioned before, has got a great record from penalties. Now ten saves, I think, from twenty-six penalties. So he's been the difference. But Edison, fantastic, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then it finished with that man Rudiger get here. Be confident. Well, you know what? It was the best penalty of all. If, mm. if you hit the post and he goes in, there's no way the goalkeeper can, can take that. I don't know if he meant that, but you can't save that. So, you know, it was, it was magnificent. And, and we're talking about the penalties, but, and we talked about Benningham, and we all know that he is, he is that glue to that team. He will, he will link the, the midfield to the two strikers. But Karl Bajal, sorry, you took a yellow straight away in the game. You have to defend the whole night on Grealish. Then Jeremy Doku. What a game. This is why I always say, football, yes, and I love the way City plays. We cannot talk about that. It is outstanding. But there is something called about, something called, sorry, defending. You can also control a game defending well. And Real Madrid, and I know people will say City were the, the, was the best team. Defending is part of the game. They defended ever so well against City. They didn't give them a lot. So... As much as people can say City was the best team, you have to defend also in football, and they did that ever so well. So I think the the the, the, the best team, the, t the team that defended well, also went through. What would you say about the performance of Andre Lunin in goal uh, for Real Madrid, save two of the the penalties, um, the Manchester City penalties? Not a keeper whose name we're hugely familiar with. I think it, in terms of the way you have been in, in years well, gone well, by with Real Madrid, well, he's probably third choice keeper. And you think Courtois, obviously, he's, uh, he's been out injured. Could argue the best goalkeeper in the world, sitting in the top two or three. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, but... Ariza, Ariza <laughs> Balaga. Perfect. He's on, uh, on loan from Chelsea. He, he's gone in there, he cost a huge fee. He's gone in there and he's replaced them. And I've just told you his record there, 10 saves and 26 penalties. And he was outstanding. Listen, let's not forget, he made a big mistake in the first leg early on from Bernardo Silva's free kick. So the personality he showed as well to go away to City, you know, keep them in check and then basically he'll be the hero now. He'll be all over the, uh, the back pages in Spain. Uh, let's go through uh, some of the action from the game. Uh, so uh, it feels like such a long time ago now, doesn't it? 12th minute of the game was when Real Madrid took the lead in this one, made it 1-0, which put them 4-3 up on aggregate. Rodrigo, this was Thierry. Yeah, I mean, the touch of uh, Bellingham, that's what we're saying. Every time he's the guy putting the ball on the ground, the amount of time he kept that ball, he invited his team in Valverde for Vinicius Jr. And in one and two times, Rodrigo scores. But the amount of time... Bellingham allowed his team to go forward and yes that was the only shot on target and yes it was the goal but they had a lot of counters that they didn't finish well but look that was what they planned what they wanted to do they did it early and and obviously City scored and and, and they went through on penalty but they were just uh, actually like I always said they love to execute the plan Real Madrid and you always think that you have them but you don't 
But then Haaland, who was nullified probably over two legs, gets a chance. Akanji going into that midfield row, De Bruyne on the overlap. Ball comes back out. And Haaland does really well to get back on side, but he was so limited in chances over these two legs. I don't think you can blame him for that. He's coming back, just leaning back a little bit, but I think he does well to get a decent enough contact. In it. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't his night tonight. And his overall game wasn't great tonight. It didn't really have an impact, but that was his probably best chance of the game, Kate. And then Kevin De Bruyne, he got a chance. I mean, obviously comes to the fore even more so in the second half. And I mean, it's a, it's a save the goalkeeper should make. And he does, he still has to make it. This is what I was trying to say. Uh, Nacho does ever so well here. It, it's, it's, it looked like a chance at the end, but it wasn't really. They covered it well. This is what I'm saying. We struggled to find a lot of chances from, from, from Man City. The goal did come, though. Uh, let's take a look at the one that came from Manchester City. Kevin De Bruyne with this one. Who wants to take it? Micah, you want to take it? Yeah, well, I, I mean, Doku did ever so well when he come on. Added that energy, that, that pace, that dynamism down that side. And I just think it's a cool finish. You'll see it on, on more angles. We were talking about Folded and De Bruyne in that second half of normal time, trying to get into these little bit of pockets. And you'll see it here best on this angle, the way he just managed to lift the ball, hits the bottom of the ball, so it just guides up. It was a brilliant finish. But this is the big chance that Kevin De Bruyne should score. You think he, he scored the vital goal last season in this tie, the equaliser in the Bernabeu, and that was to win the game. And that's the biggest chance they had. And because of the player it falls to, it's a bigger chance than probably what it is for, to fall to somebody else, because he's, he's that good a player, yeah. Kevin De Bruyne. But then Thierry Remer did. And then Rudiger, of all people, I don't know what he was doing there, but he was. And it's not an easy finish if you want to finish with, with your wrong foot, even for a striker. But then that's maybe the guy that, if you're Real Madrid, you didn't want at the moment. But yeah, it was a, it was a tight affair. It sure was. So Real Madrid will now meet by. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Luton Town taking on Chelsea. Hi, Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important... Well, it could be on for him here. Is it going to be? Keeper getting the touch. And it's gone behind for the corner. Over it comes. Not did his job defensively. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Pearson so after that a goal kick it'll be well pick your adjective where Hakim Ziyech is concerned explosive I think might be in a pro can they take the lead here and mistimed the run sadly that's offside Throw-ins given. This looks promising. Well, it's the care and attention, all that works. And a blunder by the keeper. Werner. Promising attack, but his timing was off. They've lost possession of the ball. Nicely cut out. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Ziyech. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round me? He's got no chance.
Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Ball's gone. 